Hello everybody and welcome back to SevTech Ages of the Sky. I'm SJM and this is episode 24. So we're just going to clean up the astral sorcery and what um, I'm, well, I'm going to be doing for now. I might get into something here in a little bit um, later with the uh, enchanting stuff that's available in astral sorcery, but as far as the getting the flight, I got that figured out and I thought I'd just go ahead and explain a little bit more about um, the collector crystal and this structure here. So you see I uncompleted my structure and this altar is only getting this much daylight during the daytime. So that's very, very little, right? Well, if we go ahead and we complete up the altar and we get those turquoise particles going again, it's full, completely full. So this collector crystal by itself wasn't doing a whole lot, but if you build that structure with this perfect crystal that I made and then um, turn into the collector crystal, got the starlight in there, the whole structure going on, which you find in the book, um, then yeah, you add a ton <coughs> of starlight to your altar. And then I don't, obviously, as I showed you before, I didn't need those uh, spectral relay setups that I had going in there before. Now, the reason this would fit snugly right into this spot here, but originally I built it back that far. So I had a, had a place to use my lens for transforming the iron ore into the star metal. And there are other things that we can transform too. Um, I'm just not going into that uh, right now. So with the flight, um, the one thing yesterday that I totally derped on and didn't even think about um, was the fact that the um, astral mantle, mantle of the stars, tuned to Visio, it'll work like an elytra. And the one thing I didn't try was space to get the elytra wings to come out. So I didn't figure that out until after I got looking into the book and into the perks. And I kind of like moused over everything in there and then actually stumbled up, up across this perk here. Spectral wings. The Visio mantle now grants flight instead of elytra gliding. So then I'm like, oh, I don't have to worry about figuring out why the, the flight won't work on the mantle with the um, Visio um, rod, resonating wand. I can just get creative flight and indeed we have exactly creative flight now so shift to go down space to go up just don't hit double space or you fall and then yeah so exactly got creative flight as we're going now this is uh i think we went over this in the last one if you have any questions about it throw them in the comments and i can do a follow-up video on how to use it um, but it's basically you just hold your constellation paper in your off hand your spectral relays in your other hand and you'll get some blue areas on here as long as the constellation is in the sky which you can tell if they're in the sky because you can use your telescope there telescopes very important um, you need this to draw out your um, constellations in the sky before you can use them for most of the astral stuff and I think I forgot to show you the structure on this guy here um, this is the starlight infuser and this is how you make your uh, resonating gems and you can actually upgrade I took my crystal pickaxe and I put it into there it actually used up all 12 buckets of starlight but now I have a crystal pickaxe which um, it's not only good up to obsidian level for mining, but it also will mine in a three by three. And I haven't used it yet, so it's sitting at almost completely full stats because I didn't make it a, when I originally made it, I didn't make it a completely full pickaxe. Uh, so the other thing that I'm doing right now is just growing out a few more, or one more um, rock crystal to up to 400 size, 100 cutting, and at least 97 purity. I think I'm, I'm up to 96 on the one that I have over here now. And I'm gonna make a, uh, the crystal sword, and I'm going to infuse that guy too. 
so that'll end up giving me a really good weapon for this point in the game. Yeah, I'm only at 90% purity on this guy, so he's got a, got a few stages of growing to do, but I've also now um, got a whole backpack full of rock crystals that I can use for making a starlight. Um, so yes, the last thing that I'll be doing with Astral Sorcery in this playthrough will be doing the Stellar Refraction Table. Um, it's fairly simple craft. These infused wood columns is just infused wood planks straight up and down in the crafting grid. I showed you how to make this in the last episode. And then just some resonating gems, which are making your um, infuser, star metal ingots, which are super easy now. And then just some ruined marble. It's got the Christmas decoration on there. So if you're wondering what that is, it's because we're into Christmas time and Hellfire PVP has got some Christmas um, effects going on in there. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, so with the stellar refraction table, you can get some quite outlandish um, mods or um, enhancements on your um, books um, and in including things that wouldn't normally go together like you can get sharpness and um, say bane of arthropods on the same type of on the same book to do on a sword or etc etc you can get fire protection and regular protection on the same book so i'll be playing around with that and getting that all worked out um the other thing i guess i could go over is i did make a flame grilled whopper with the alternate recipe that is available in stage two which is just lava wood over a regular hopper. And the lava wood you make by pouring lava over a plank. And you just basically, if you take a plank, plop it into your um, basin there. I've got some lava in there and it takes a quarter of a bucket to do one lava wood plank. So that goes down to 500. And now I have another lava wood down here. I can make another flame grilled whopper and I can automate my grill or my cauldron if I wanted to. That's everything I'm going to be going over in this episode. And in the next episode, we'll get into all of the fancy stuff that we have available to us here in age three. I appreciate your views. Uh, any questions? please leave them in the comments and uh, yeah, throw a thumbs up if you liked the episode. And especially now that we have flight, super easy for getting around here. And I found it super handy when I popped into the nether. So I got my nether portal there now too. So yeah, it was super handy for going to the nether because then you don't have to worry about landing on islands with some of the stupid mobs that are out there in the nether, uh, including the spin outs and all that stuff. We will see you in the next one.